Welcome back to the Helium Group. Uh, this is the YouTube channel that uh, focuses on helium mining, at least for right now. We do have some other mining uh, going on over here. Is a whole chia farm. Uh, some of you may have seen it. Um, you can see that I got uh, the six uh, Panther X's that I've been waiting. Um, I did want to show you something. How profitable is it? Um, if you zoom in on that, that is almost $4,000 and uh, we paid for those six miners with the production from our other rock miners that we had. Um, so without further ado, um, we're gonna set up this uh, Panther X2. This is a 1302 chipset. We do have a uh, SX1308 chipset. Big controversy, which one produces more than the other? We're gonna find out. We're gonna be putting this one where the 1308 is right now. Same equipment, same antenna, same time frame. Um, we've been ha we've had the 1308 running since the middle of January, or actually the 25th of January. Um, so we'll go probably 10 days, seven to 10 days, and then we'll look at the results. And we'll try to figure out uh, if all the scuttlebutt about the SX1302, that it's supposed to witness more and be faster and yada, 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 if it really makes that much a difference. I, I can tell you from personal example, the gold spot, the rack gold spot that we had at the same location, um, the Panther X2 SX1308 actually slightly outperformed that miner. So uh, same antennas, all that kind of uh, equipment is the same, same cabling. Um, so we're really happy with the uh, Panther X products. Uh, so without further ado, let me go ahead and get uh, ready with this. There's been quite a controversy or a discussion people frustrated about um, the setup process. And in some ways, I kind of wish the lights weren't here because they can create some confusion as they sit there and blink. I'm gonna tell you right now, if this is your first time setting up a Panther, just be patient. It can take hours, um, even when it is, it is ready to go with the lights, they're solid, um, it can take days to get out of relay status or to, fully get up to speed. Um, and I'm gonna tell you another thing that people ask or talk about, which is the miner doesn't produce. And oftentimes that's a rela uh, relationship to whether you're using the uh, standard antenna that comes with it, um, which in some circumstances would be a great scenario up high in a building, uh, congested area, probably a good choice. Um, but if you can get the antenna outside um, there are, these are two rack um, wireless 8.0 antennas. Um, we have these in various different places. We have 12 other miners actually working right now in our group. And uh, we use the 5.8 and the 8.0 uh, DBI antenna from rack wireless. And they hands down outperform the Amazon antennas. Um, this is a uh, 4.0. There are a couple of 8.0 um, Amazon antennas that are just slightly bigger than this. And you can see, um, I don't care how much bigger that is, you know, if it's that big, it still doesn't, um, still doesn't perform the same. And um, I have done some testing on the uh, difference between the Amazon antennas, if you look at one of the other videos. Um, but right now, uh, most of you, I'm gonna actually pull in here a little bit. Sorry, I'm just not a great YouTuber per se. Uh, I don't have all the fancy equipment, but I'm gonna draw in here and kind of show you, hopefully. Right now, um, you can see that the power light is solid and the connection light is blinking. Um, don't do anything. Don't power cycle it. I don't care if it takes several days, just let it go. Um, and if you're having problems, get on the Discord uh, channel and go to the Panther X, um, join the Panther X uh, Discord channel and come on there. You can find me at Loquacious. Uh, you might uh, uh, look up at Dan um, or there's a number of people that are there a lot of the time just trying to help people get theirs up and running. So I'm going to leave this kind of run right now. And in the, in the meantime, I do want to tell you that you can see right here, this is a T-Mobile uh, IOT driven uh, chip in here. It's $5 a month for 500 megs or $10 a month for unlimited. Um, this uh, SIM chip that's in here is specifically designed for IOT usage. 
Um, so you can get two gigs of service with the 10 gig, uh, or the 10, I'm sorry, the, the $10 a month. And then for $5 a month, you get 500 megs. Don't ask me how much the miners use. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, we do have a couple of them uh, deployed. So um, maybe we'll figure that out down the road. But light's still blinking. Uh, we're plugged in. Um, we're going to actually... Uh, um, So I had to step away there for a moment because as I realized that uh, I didn't have the phone to actually do the uh, pairing with. So uh, you can see it is still blinking. It is currently time-wise here about 10 minutes into it. So we're going to come over here. And I'm going to walk through this with you. And we're going to see what we see. I'm not really expecting it. Oh, this is new. They actually added the Panther X2 to the software. Whoops. Back we go. And you're going to take and push this in. One, two, three, four, five, six. See the Bluetooth light is lit up. And you're going to choose the Panther X2. I just skip. I understand. I'm powered up. Scan for the hotspot. And depending on, whoops, let's get that so you can see that. Panther X2. Round and round. Used to be a radio show host of a tech network and uh, technical talk show and uh, dead air is never a good thing so I'm gonna scan for networks so right now it is not seeing any networks so what that means that you need to do is to Put your phone away, turn the app off, and wait, because the miner is just not ready to go. So rather than uh, sit here, right now we are about seven minutes and 45 seconds into this uh, process, probably about uh, five minutes we've spent on this. So I'm gonna pause the, the video right now, and I'll come back to it later. I'm gonna keep an eye on this, and I will let you know the timing that it takes for this to get to the next step. Okay, it is 1030. I'm not quite sure that's showing up, why it's not showing up here, but uh, so we started at 752 at 8.08. We kind of got the blinky light scenario and uh, it's still blinky light. So very common. So I'm actually gonna pop into the app here and we're gonna see what happens if we pair with it I want you all to see my secret password so here we go back in there's Panther X skip for now I understand the diag power up scan for hotspots as you can see There's the Panther X. Oh, hey, a new message. Look at that one. Onboarding error. It says the onboarding server is temporary, temporary and unavailable if users won't be able to add hotspots at this time. Check for updates on the status.helium.com. Status .helium.com and try again later. Okay, we're gonna exit setup. Um, we are gonna power cycle. We're gonna wait for a, a solid power light. I'm gonna draw you in here closer. 
course, that you can see the minor than me. Okay, let's see what happens. Back into blinky light status. Bluetooth. And here we go again. Well, that wasn't any fun. I understand. I'm powered up. Same message. So, we're going to call it. <laughs> Sorry about that jolt there. Um, we're going to call it an evening, and uh, we'll come back to it in the morning. Uh, we'll kind of let it do its thing overnight. And uh, thank you for uh, hanging out and supporting the channel. Um, we will continue the video tomorrow. Okay, so once you have the. Um, minor in your wallet uh, and it's showing up which in this case this one's called Jovial Mocha Antelope. Um, you are good to go. Uh, it may take a few minutes for that to happen. Uh, my suggestion is that you go over to your router and you go to your attached devices section. You find the Panther X2, find the IP address. Go up to a browser window and type that IP address in nothing special there might actually help if I put the right IP address in okay now in this case um, normally what happens is uh, because I've already logged into it to test it normally what it'll do is ask for the username and password which is admin admin and um, then you connect, you'll see this screen, and you are good to go. Um, it will show you a bunch of different information that's uh, for another video another time. But hopefully this has uh, been helpful. Thank you for coming to the, the Helium group uh, and learning how to work with the uh, Panther X2 Helium Miners. Uh, I am really excited about these, as you can tell. I have four more or five more brand new ones sitting right here that I'm going to need to unbox and set up for various different locations. Um, please make sure you hit the like button, uh, the please comment, ask questions. Um, if you need help, make sure you go over to the Panther X um, Discord channel and find me as at Loquacious. I'll be happy to help you when I'm online. There are others like at Dan, uh, super helpful. Um, but other than that, click that notification bell so that way when we do more videos, you will be notified. Uh, thanks again for supporting the channel.